Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Africa Harrigan and today I will be sharing with you the wear and tear update of my Louis Vuitton in the MM size. Of course, in the beloved Damier Eben print. I've had her now for almost, so I think a little bit over a year now. So this is like a one year update and I am just completely and totally in love with this purse. I'm in love with the canvas and quite frankly, she has aged so beautifully. It's really surprising. Okay, so let me go ahead and let you know that this video is sponsored by Vush, a wellness brand that believes that every woman is deserving and worthy of self-love. The product in here is called The Myth. I did do a full-on video on The Myth. I'll link all of the information down below. And guess what? You can get a 20% discount code off of The Myth using my um, code 20 Africa A F R I C A H to get a discount and save some coins on The Myth. I'll have all of the information linked down below for you guys. Okay, so the Louis Vuitton MM I believe is definitely going to be a staple piece in my collection. She is just so stunning and so gorgeous, a classic, definitely a Louis Vuitton classic. And of course, you know, it comes in a monogram and a Damier Eben. This is a Damier Eben. And then of course it comes in the Damier Azure, which I have um, in the GM size. But this size has totally surprised me. And I must say that because I am such a big bag girl. I love big bags. So for me to like look into something that's medium size, it was not only was it a downsize, temporarily of course <laughs> not only was it a downsize but it was just it's just fun it's like you just take what you need and you can even add a little bit more if you like because it's a tote and I love this style bag to me it's just perfect size for myself it's the perfect size when I'm carrying things for my daughter as well like if we go out or we go into her appointment I don't even need to bring an extra bag for her and for me like a person me in a bag for her this is just it packs a punch it really does even though it's in the mm size now of course the gm size as we all know you can fit everything inside of there but with the mm size meaning that you're going to carry it on your shoulder it kind of you know you just minimize a little bit more and lessen exactly what it is that you're going to be bringing with you i can do a and you know a what's in my bag toddler video for you guys if you're interested um because i have quite a few adorable things that i'll bring with me when her and i go on a date or we're out together just hanging out just love her so much okay so let's check this out of course we know that this is a damia event print it has decoded leather handles the straps are thin and they're identical on both sides Outside, of course, we have the Louis Vuitton logo right there. And if you go down, it's right here as well. Very identical to what is on the back of it. Because the logo is there, right there. And of course, here again on the lower side. Of course, you know, with this particular tote, it won't be Louis Vuitton without the embellishments. So of course, when you turn it to the side, it has like a little D ring here just to hold the strap with a cute little Louis Vuitton button that says Louis Vuitton on it. And it's identical on that side. And when you turn it back to the opposite side, it's exactly the same. So you have um, the D ring again, and then on that side too. Now, what I do love about this is that, like I said, it's, to me, it's like the perfect size. And, um, it's the most ideal size. Like if most of you ask most people, what size would you buy? They'll take a vote and say, I'm going with the MM <laughs> for everyday use. Now I've definitely used my GM for everyday use as well. Just like I have for my Speedy 40. When, you know, I've had multiple questions from multiple people asking me like, okay, the bag is so big. Um, are you comfortable using it every day? Or are you just, you just use it for traveling only? And absolutely not. All my big bags, I would definitely use on a daily basis. I have used on a daily basis. And all I do is I just rotate them out pretty much just to show everybody a little bit of love. Okay, so let's just go ahead and check out 
the trim because you know one of the biggest factors with the trim is that over time it creates these ridges around it and let's see if that happened here and it did but it's just so subtle like look the ridges are not um as defined as of yet even though you just see like creases right here and when i turn it over on this side <laughs> to see um the creases there no see it's there but it's not really defined so this tells me that i'm probably carrying maybe the right amount of weight in this purse because if i show you guys my as a matter of fact i'll just go ahead and film that video next <laughs> the never full wear and tear from my gm size because that has some ridges um and creases if you want to call it that i must say that the leather coated handle held up really well as you can see here this is not chipped it's not missing anything it's not de-threading and to me, that's one of the things that I love about Louis Vuitton. When they create something, they create it with so much, like they put a lot into what they're doing. They don't just throw a purse together, but you know, they stitch it well. So stitching is ever hardly a problem that I ever have with any of my products. The only one that I did have a problem with though, <laughs> in a wear and tear video, I can get through that one for you guys as well, is the coin purse. The coin purse has started to de-stitch. So that was literally, the only product so far and I've had my products now and I take care of myself <laughs> so you know when you see something that's see threading it's disappointing you're like what but however it did never fall in the mm size no despite the weight it has not de-threaded the leather handles here as well on the side looks really good this purse looks new it looks new and if you check it out on that side as well with the little embellishment there the brass is not rusted it has not changed colors it's actually quite nice it's so shiny it hasn't lost its luster it's still there and i love that and even when you look um with the lush gorgeous red interior it's still perfect it's still in really good condition i'll just I have a few things in there i don't want to take them out so i'll just show it to you like this so the lush red interior has not faded. It has not lost its deep red, beautiful look. And I like that, I like that a lot. It makes me feel like this is the perfect gift to give someone who is starting out in Louis Vuitton. Yes, because it's the perfect size purse, technically, is what most of you guys would say anyway. <laughs> it's, it's technically a really good size purse. It holds, it holds up nicely. And look, the bottom is not sagging. And I do have quite a bit of items in here. <laughs> the bottom is not sagging, but it's quite straight. The side is not sagging. It looks really good. It looks amazing. It looks really nice. It looks almost like I said, brand spanking new. So let's say it's a year old. And she still looks so luscious and so gorgeous and so beautiful. Okay, so where are some of the places that I love to take her with me to work, of course. I love taking her with me when I'm going out for my daughter, of course. Um, this is really great for traveling as well. If you don't want to walk with a purse that's really too big and too heavy and you know, whatever you put inside, you do have to carry it on your shoulder. So I wouldn't recommend overpacking this piece because the straps are thin and you don't want the leather handles to dig into your shoulder. That's the only thing. So you just pack it moderately, um, pack what you can carry don't treat her like she's a duffel bag <laughs> because she's a luxury tote you know so treat her good treat her well don't put like liquids inside of it because it is not a wipeable interior by no means so if you're going to put liquids make sure you have um just hold it in your hand don't put it in your bag just don't don't put her don't put any liquids inside of your bag to protect the interior what you can do is get like your purse organizer or a uh you can find those on on amazon if you want an inexpensive one if you want to go um luxury of course they're more expensive uh purse, purse organizer brands that you can check out as well they'll fit the neverfull perfectly it also help it to keep its shape and um there's also a plastic base that you can get for the neverfull mm as well so i mean it's like you have options to keep and uphold your purse you don't have to um just you know be limited in what you're doing and what you're putting inside of her but to protect the luster of the 
red interior the rich beautiful gorgeous red interior then don't put liquids inside of it okay anyway thank you so much for tuning in i'm africa harrigan if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments don't forget to leave it in the comment box below also don't forget to check out vush i have the full video and everything linked down below for you guys to check out as well and if you're new to this channel hi my subscribers have definitely been growing yay and also if you are one of if you're a returning viewer hi definitely love your ongoing support if you have any questions or comments leave in the comment box below i'm africa harrigan stay beautiful